Hello, welcome back. So today's video was supposed to be a EDC festival try on haul video. I was going to try on the outfits that I thought I was going to wear to EDC, but none of the outfits, I didn't like any of them. So I'm going to consider this kind of like a fail video. The outfits are so cute, but I just didn't end up using like any of them really for the festival. Well, I wore one of them, but ugh, you'll see. If you're interested in seeing this failed festival EDC try on haul then please just stay tuned okay so let me explain a little bit before we get into this try on video because it might be a little confusing because EDC already happened I filmed this video like three days before EDC I had no idea what I was gonna wear I thought I knew what I was gonna wear because I had like planned some things out in my head but when I actually tried them on it just didn't work so I didn't end up uploading this video when I thought I would because I filmed it three days before EDC and I was gonna upload it before I went to EDC so it would make sense but because it was kind of like a failed video I decided to wait because I didn't even know if I was gonna upload it at all but the outfits are still cute and the video is still good it's kind of funny so yeah I'm still uploading it obviously because you're watching it but um, it's a little bit late because EDC was like two three weeks ago now so anyways I am gonna show you guys what I actually wore to EDC at the end of this video because my outfits were actually super cute so so if you guys want to see what I actually ended up wearing to EDC, then stay tuned until the end of this video. Um, I will show you guys what I actually wore and I will explain those outfits also. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. <laughs> okay guys, so welcome back to my channel again. Um, it's me, Hannah. I'm here with another haul video. My last haul video did really good. Um, if you haven't seen that one, I did a mall haul and I showed you guys everything that I got at the mall. This shirt is actually one of them. Super cute. Decided to wear it today. But today's going to be a different kind of haul video. Um, I'm going to EDC this weekend and today's Tuesday. I'm going on Friday and I still don't know what I'm going to wear. So... <laughs> I bought a couple pieces and then I'm, I have some other pieces um, in my closet. So I'm going to do like a festival outfit haul try on type of video. And I'm going to show you guys what I got. Uh, um, what I got for this festival. I bought some stuff online. I made something. I bought something at the store. So um, yeah. Um, the things that I bought online and at the store. The new pieces that I have. I haven't tried on yet. So it's going to be like a first impressions also because you'll get my initial reaction right as I'm trying it on for the very first time. Okay, so first things first, I got these two things from, uh, what's it called? Pretty little, pretty little thing .com. Um, I just got two things from them because that's all I could afford. Um, I think to like total for this was like 60 bucks. It wasn't a lot, but um, I'm a broke ass bitch. So I didn't have a lot of money to spend on outfits this year. Last year I went a little overboard and this year I'm trying to save some money. So anyways, I just got these two things from Pretty Little Thing and their bodysuit. Um, this one feels really cheap actually. And I think I got this one for, oh, why is my flashlight on? Okay, so I got this mesh one it's like a mesh long sleeve um i got it for 27 dollars. it was originally 45 dollars, but they were having a sale um for 40 percent off your order if you use like a certain code so i used that code and i got 40 percent off each item so this ended up being 27 dollars. it honestly does not feel like it's worth 27 dollars. from the picture it looked like it was gonna be better quality but um i guess it's hard to tell too so i'm kind of bummed that it feels so cheap but hopefully it looks good on because that would make up for it and then I also got this pink I guess I should hold it up correctly I got this like pink um long sleeve bodysuit with a buckle on the front and this one normally retails for $35 but I got it for $21 so hopefully I can do some things with these for an EDC outfit we'll see and um I'm gonna start by trying these on and then I'll show you guys the rest 
rest of what I got. <gasps> okay, I gotta bend down because now I don't have a top on. But um, <laughs> I also got these pasties off of Amazon. It's just like, it was like a variety pack of a bunch of like different colored star pasties because, you know. But um, I think I'm gonna try a pair on. Hopefully they're good because I think pasties can either be like good or bad. So, and I was planning on wearing pasties underneath one of the outfits. So I'm just gonna use a color that I really like probably won't end up using. That way I don't waste it because usually pasties are a one-time use just letting you know so I'm gonna use these green ones so that you don't see nothing hopefully they stick on me because that would really suck if they don't work <laughs> oh my god you guys I'm gonna try not to show you guys my boobs even with pasties on because it still feels strange and I'm not here for that <laughs> So bear with me. Okay, so this is the first bodysuit. I can't zip it up all the way because I just can't reach that far and I don't have any help right now. I was honestly thinking of wearing it like with pasties underneath, <laughs> um, you know, because that's just like EDC. But I don't know, kind of scared. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do like a bikini top underneath instead so it doesn't look as wild. But um, yeah, this is kind of cute. It's definitely like a, it's not like a G-string bottom, but it's definitely like a um, pretty much a thong bottom. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not a full butt type of deal but it's also not like a super tiny g-string so i like that um also this is not part of it it just says that um please do not remove unless you are satisfied with this garment returns will not be accepted if this tag has been removed so i'm gonna leave this in here in case i change my mind about this one because yeah i don't know about it yet but um it is pretty cute i just don't really know what bottoms i would wear with it i did i did make this chain skirt and i was kind of thinking of wearing it like with this but when i bought this the picture looked like these little um first of all I, I thought these were rhinestones they're not they are like just spots of glitter <laughs> circles with glitter in it i thought they were white rhinestones they're not they're like gold glitter so i was gonna originally like wear it like with something like this but now that i'm putting it on i don't really like the way this looks let me just do it anyways it just looks like flashing it looks kind of messy and i don't like you know in my head i thought it might be good but it's really not see it's like all right yeah no, this is a no-go for me. Let's try a different pair of shorts over this bodysuit. That could be cute. I don't know. Okay, so I also have these shorts. These are from last year. And they're these like, I know they don't look like shorts, but trust me when I say they're shorts. These are from, um, I think I got these from Fashion Nova. Yeah, these are from Fashion Nova. And these are size extra small. They're tiny. Let me just tell you. They're so tiny. Okay, so I'm going to try these black shorts on with this. I still think it's going to look classy clashing though. So let's see um, what's happening. I can't even zip up these shorts. Okay, there we go. Okay, so these are the shorts. This, I should tie this one. Um, they kind of just like tie up. It should show a little bit more like this, but the bodysuit, you can see the bodysuit through it. That's okay though. I'm gonna tie this. I mean, I don't even really know if these are like technically short, but so they're short. So they just kind of like tie up like this, super sexy. Obviously, you'd probably only ever wear these to like an event like EDC. You probably wouldn't wear these out to dinner. Maybe you would. I don't know. You could do whatever you want. But um, these look okay. These look a little better. I think the green pasties are kind of throwing me off. Maybe if I had like gold ones to go with the like glitter on here. But these shorts look better with this. The back looks okay. I feel like the back of these shorts are not very flattering. They're just like, they look like booty shorts kind of. I don't know. They look okay. But like, I feel like this bodysuit looks better with these shorts than it did with that chain skirt maybe i don't know do we like this we'll see it's maybe an option it'll be an option but i'm not like thrilled over it you know <sighs> Everyone always has cute ass outfits and I'm doing this so last minute. So hopefully I manage to like make some cute outfits. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so let's take this one off and move on. I'm just going to leave the green pasties on because it'll just be easier that way. Oh yeah, by the way, this um, bodysuit that I just had on is a US size zero in case you're wondering. Okay, so we're moving on to this pink bodysuit. Um, I have those green pasties on still. So if you... <laughs> 
see them underneath this um just know that the green it's the green pasties anyways um i was kind of worried about this one because like it didn't look very secure and i still it doesn't feel secure like the model it looked secure on but now that i have it on it definitely doesn't feel secure it feels like it's gonna just like work its way down my shoulders and like maybe not maybe it would stay pretty cute um maybe i could use like tape you know double-sided tape so that it stays on my boobs because i just don't want it to fall off my boobs that's all i want it to cover um it's a thong type of bodysuit and i was thinking of wearing this also with those black shorts well like i said originally i was thinking of wearing that mesh bodysuit that i just tried on with the chain skirt but it didn't look good it looked better with this with these shorts but originally when i bought this because it has the black buckle i was thinking oh i could wear it with those black shorts that i already have i don't know if i like this already no i mean maybe this looks kind of sloppy too because of the pink showing through the laces I think we'll see let me back up and show you guys doesn't that look kind of like weird here or does it look all right I don't know it just doesn't really like doesn't really do it for me it's kind of just like eh you know like eh 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 hmm this might be a festival outfit fail video <laughs> I don't know. I'm not very stylish, you guys, either. Let me just be honest. I'm like super plain Jane and like what I like to wear. So putting together outfits is kind of a struggle for me. The pink bodysuit, the neon pink one that I just had on, this is a USA size two and it's actually way tighter than the other one was. And the other one was a zero, which is supposedly smaller. But this one is way tighter. Okay, I forgot I bought this. Like, I don't even know. When did I buy this? I bought this like months ago and because my girlfriend like models for this company and i saw her modeling this piece and it was super cute so and i was like oh that would be cool for like edc maybe and i bought it for edc and then when it came i put it on and it was just like first of all very cheap and this one is from yandy is that what it's called yandy so cheap not even sewn good like so cheap it didn't look this cheap on her in the photo but definitely feels cheap and look at this like the edge isn't even like hemmed or anything it, it looks like they just cut it like just so cheap and they even sewed it like backwards so like ugh, the seams are like on the outside and like the way it buttons suggests that they sewed the buttons on backwards so i have to like wear it backwards does that make sense anyways i put it on and i was just like nope it's like way too thin like it feels like it's gonna like rip off of my body i don't even remember how much i paid for this one but i'm gonna try it on for you guys anyways sorry i'm like trying to snap the crotch okay so i of course saw the red rainbow colors and i was like oh that would be cute for edc and then um yeah i just got it and like i don't know i mean it's okay but it's like in the photo it shows like like this on the butt it shows like this on the photo but it's so thin and so like cheap that it just immediately just goes like right up your butt so it definitely won't stay like covering your butt which i guess is fine but i don't know it's like a little too much i think you know like a little too much so i don't know it's like okay but even this one, I was like not very thrilled with it. And I guess I could wear it with like the black shorts. No, I'm just kidding. I could wear it with some kind of shorts. But I don't even know what kind of shorts I'd wear it with. Jean shorts? That's boring. I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, I could wear it just like this too. But I don't think I have the balls to do that. I'm kind of a chicken. Dude, I just don't even know. That's what sucks about like shopping online is, you know, it's always hit or miss. You either like it or you don't. And it's like kind of a hassle to return stuff when you buy it online because um you have to like ship it back and then like ugh. okay next oh i'm gonna show you guys this piece that my girlfriend made for me because um she custom cut t-shirts and clothing and just turns it into like these awesome pieces and the piece that she made for me is so amazing okay so my friend jessica made this piece for me isn't it so cute like i said she custom cuts um clothing uh t-shirts she'll turn like a men's extra large t-shirt into like a bodysuit or like a woman's dress or i don't know she's just amazing and um her name is peep show clothing on instagram i think let me check her name is jessica and she's freaking awesome i've known her for a really long time now and actually she's located in uh vegas i believe so yeah so her name on instagram is peep show clothing i'll put it down here at the screen and she just has so many cool different cuts and styles on there and 
everything she does is just so freaking awesome. I'm just going to show you guys a couple, but um, definitely go check her out, especially if you like this bodysuit that I'm wearing because ugh, look how sexy this is. It's just so freaking cute and just the way she cuts it is like, ugh, I love it so much. So I was thinking that I could wear this to EDC also, but I would definitely have to wear it with something, with some kind of bottoms because the bottom of this is so revealing. Like, ugh. okay, so here's the back. Super sexy back, right? I'm gonna step a couple more feet in that direction just for a quick second so you guys can get a glimpse of the whole like back of this because it is so <laughs> so revealing so sexy <laughs> there's no way i can wear this to edc alone like i probably could if i wanted to but i wouldn't because i'm not that confident but um so sexy from the front i love this cut so much it's so like flattering on the body too like the way the lines goes and all like the details and stuff it's just like so freaking flattering on your body and yeah i love this piece so freaking much i wouldn't really say that it has a size because every single one of her pieces are like one-offs and they're custom so they probably all range a little bit but this particular piece that she cut for me is definitely uh, it's a pretty forgiving you know probably like a small an extra small small and medium could fit into it I would say because it is adjustable like with these straps back here and this one here but um yeah definitely so sexy <laughs> I'm gonna try it on with those black shorts again and just see but first I'm gonna have a break to eat my pizza and french fries because I don't want it to get cold um, I'm hungry I've been eating really good but today I'm gonna have some pizza um it looks a little crispy but it's not it's perfect okay oh my god it's so good i'm sorry you didn't know this was going to be an asmr mukbang video did you <laughs> just kidding oh my god that pizza is so good i haven't had carbs in like days okay let's hope that these black shorts look good with this one because i feel like it would match because of the cuts on this and also because of the black strings on the back of this that are like holding the you know like this you can't see the back black string there now but it's there wait i guess i could pull it out a little bit there now you could see it does this look okay no even this oh my god this piece is just so sexy and beautiful by itself that it's like you put anything over it and it just totally takes away from how awesome this piece is but yeah mm -mm. i don't know about these black shorts for this year i was able to use them last year but they're just not doing it for me all right next but first pizza okay so i bought this dress from a touch of romance for 24 dollars, and it's obviously like a sexy type of like lingerie ish dress but i thought maybe i could do something with it for edc so let me see this is like a one size fits all by the way or it's like a yeah it's like a one size it says it's for sizes 2 to 14 i don't know about that i it will definitely fit me but i don't know how stretchy it is it feels pretty stretchy though okay so this is what it looks like <laughs> before you put it on so i don't really think there's like a front and back so let's put this on and i was thinking i could just wear pasties under this one to make it like kind of fun so i'm gonna leave my green pasties on i'm trying not to like just stand here with pasties on that's why i'm like awkwardly bending down because it still feels weird just like standing here with my boobs out it's like a net it's literally like a net I like the color Ooh, the color is fun super edc-esque oh i don't know about this i don't know it might be too much okay so super cute but i think i need to wear more modest bottoms underneath like um because i put on bikini bottoms but they're like super tiny bikini bottoms so um it looks like a thong underneath you know <sighs> i don't know about the pasties either maybe they're okay like if i had like a thicker bottom on underneath i think i just need like a thicker bottom i didn't even bring any thicker bottoms downstairs with me but um it's cute though it is cute yeah i definitely think i need a thicker like more coverage in the butt and that would make it look a little bit more okay if if the underwear that i had on underneath were a little um less revealing i think it might work and maybe if i had like a triangle bikini top on underneath instead of instead of um pasties but i don't know i'll have to mess with this one this one's kind of cute though i definitely like how bright it is i love how bright it is i think i'll probably wear this one but i'm definitely gonna find less revealing bottoms for this because that would make it cuter i think and less like even though like i don't know rave outfits are just fun 
fun. Like, it's like Halloween. Like, your one chance to, like, wear whatever you want, you know? And who cares? Don't be judgmental either. Don't you dare. Because it's none of your business. Um, I can wear whatever I want because I'm a grown-ass woman. Okay, I'm going to try on a couple more options just for the hell of it. These are, like, pieces that I have already in my closet that I've literally had for, like, years. So we'll see. I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like they would be good choices, but I'm, like, so over them because I've literally had them for, like, years. Okay, let's see. This one's cute. It's, like, revealing, but it's still, like, not because the mesh is so dark, you know? Kind of cute. And this is more full butt, so it's boring. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Definitely cute. I don't know what I would wear it with, though. <sighs> Dare I try those shorts on again? No, I don't want to. I have these things. Did I bring the other one? Oh, yeah. I don't think this would look good, though. No, I don't think that would match. They're, like, holographic, like, garter belt. I wore these last year, too. So, like, do I really want to wear them again? I don't think so. Let's just try it. Should I just try it? Not with this, though. No, not with it. I mean, I can try the chain skirt again. No. I don't know, you guys. All of these outfits are, like, a flop. Honestly, this is definitely a fail video. Hopefully I still upload it because it might still be entertaining to watch maybe. I don't know. Yeah, no, this doesn't look good either. How sad. The chain skirt that I made is bad. Doesn't look good on anything. It's actually not bad, but it just is like maybe outdated. I don't know. There we go. I actually feel like I did a really good job, but it just doesn't match with anything. So <sighs> what are you going to do? I don't know where I got this though. I think I got this on like AliExpress or something for like super cheap, but... Um, yeah, I don't remember exactly how much it was and I don't remember where I got it And I feel like this style was like from a long time ago. He used to be like super popular and um, yeah I don't remember where I got it and it's a size medium. Wow. It definitely fits like an extra small It does not fit like a medium just for the hell of it I'm gonna try on another bodysuit from Jess because this is super cute But I already wore this one to EDC like two years ago So I can't wear it again But I'm just gonna show it to you guys because it's sitting here in my pile and it's super cute So this one was an old Old affliction t-shirt that she cut up into a bodysuit for me and she she had me wear the shirt and then she literally cut it up while I was wearing it she did this at like an event it was so cool but um yeah I still have this it's still perfect still super cute like how cute is this isn't this cute I love it and the butt is like you know it's less revealing than the red one but still like such a cute cut and yeah I just really really like this one so much but I don't think I can wear it again because I already wore it or maybe I just will wear it again who cares right I can recycle outfits this one's cool because it was um, a reversible shirt so the other side looks like this you know it's just like gray and black so that's kind of cool it's like a two-in-one okay I'm gonna try one more bodysuit on this is one that I wore last year and I'm just gonna put it on so I can show you what those like harness garter belt straps what it look like also I bought this bodysuit this is a white bodysuit and I wanted a high neck one a white high neck bodysuit and I couldn't find one anywhere so I went on Amazon trusty old Amazon and I got one and it was fine but it's see-through first of all it's sheer super sheer and then it's also um, crotchless <laughs> So I have to wear this one with something under it obviously because we don't want to be hanging out like that So I have like white undies on under this and then I think I wore it with pasties last year But I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I did but here is like with pasties. It's actually really cute I feel like there's no way I could recycle this one because I literally wore this one last year But I also wore it with a pink wig so maybe no one will know I'm not gonna zip it all the way because I can't reach it But um, it's kind of like Bailey and like space vibes, you know, see I have these undies underneath it but but like lots of butt lots of butt and last year i wore oops, last year i wore it with these bell but i feel like i'm like gearing up for like outer space or something ow they hurt they scratch they were so expensive also i spent like 150 dollars on these stupid garter belts like i think because they were like custom made by this girl in like I want to say she was in a different country too but she was really nice and she did a good job and she sent them to me on time because I also last year waited till the last minute to get ready so you know okay so they're kind of funny because it's also kind of dorky it's fun to dress up like this but it's also kind of dorky in my opinion but um that's what they look like and they do move a little bit so you can like adjust them Let's see okay so yeah you can kind of like adjust them I don't know just kind of make the outfit look like fun right a little more to them move these over I don't know I feel like it's kind of like alien vibes alien vibes and then I had this one also which was like ah I don't even know which way it goes okay here we go this one goes around the waist what am I doing one moment okay so i don't want to buckle it all the way so i'm not going to and they're all like bendy now because i had them like shoved in my drawer so like all the things are like bent 
but this one goes like like this and it just goes like straight up around the neck and then this one goes around your waist i don't know it's kind of cool um it would be cooler if this wasn't all bent out of shape but um you can also wear it turned around so you could wear this part like down your back because there's nothing on the back part but um yeah i don't know it's just kind of fun like alien like balian vibes i don't know like where else would you wear this except to like edc or like a festival like that right <laughs> I don't know, it's just kind of fun and different and I look like I'm gonna go like fight space aliens or I don't know. Anyways, this was just last year's outfit. Um, I don't think I'll be wearing this again. I don't think I'll ever wear these again, these harnesses. So maybe I'll sell them. If you want them, let me know. Oh my God, it's like exhausting putting on and taking off all these outfits. It's like so exhausting. I'm tired now. That pizza was so good. I wish I had a whole one instead of just a half. And I'm drinking water, so better than some sugary drink, which I really wanted to have a Coke or Dr. Pepper, but I'm gonna be good and have water. Okay guys, that's it for this festival clothing haul try on fail first impression video. <laughs> I really, I don't, like I said, it's Tuesday, ADC's on Friday, and I still don't know what I'm gonna wear because none of these did it for me. Maybe the green one, maybe the green one, but really like none of these outfits really did anything for me, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see what I decide. Wish me luck. Um, you'll probably see some of these outfits on my Poshmark because what the hell am I gonna do with them? Um, if I'm not gonna recycle any of these for this year, I probably won't ever recycle them. So yeah, um, keep a lookout on my Poshmark. If you don't know, I already have, I have a Poshmark. You can follow me on there. I repost some of my outfits and then I also sell um, new clothes on there because I have like a little Poshmark boutique. But yeah, I'll probably list some of these things on there like because none of it really worked for me. And I I don't even know what I'm gonna end up wearing. So yeah, mm, this I would definitely say this is a fail video, but anyways. Okay, so night one, I ended up just wearing this little lingerie set. Um, basically, it was just this cute little bralette and a garter belt. It had like cute little metal rings on it. Honestly, nothing too crazy. It did make my butt look super good, but it was not that exciting. It's not even mine. Honestly, the bra and the garter belt are the girl that I was sharing a room with in Vegas. Um, she let me borrow her little lingerie set, and that is what I wore the first night. Honestly, it was just black, and I wore it with some high-waisted bikini bottoms that were, like, super cheeky, so my butt, my butt looked great. Honestly, like, my butt looked so great, and that was probably, like, the best part of my outfit because my butt looked great. <laughs> I mean, it was cute, but it wasn't anything exciting. Obviously, people at EDC have, like, outfits on point. Like, everyone's outfit is so freaking cute. I think, to me, that's, like, the funnest part of EDC is, like, dressing up the outfits. It was all right, but it wasn't anything too exciting. Um, I didn't even have my own outfit to wear the first night because I just couldn't get together. So, thankfully, homegirl let me borrow something, and it was, you know, it was cute for what it was. I think night two was my favorite outfit. Honestly, night two kind of sucked because we actually got evacuated that night because of high winds. They were afraid that the main stage was going to blow over or the speakers were going to blow over. So they actually evacuated main stage and I was in um, Marquee Sky Deck, which is like overlooking main stage. So we were also evacuated. That was honestly so shitty because there's like thousands of people right there and imagine thousands of people trying to leave one area at the same time. It could have been really bad, you know, it could have been chaotic. I was honestly kind of scared because you never know there could be like a stampede you know you can get trampled it went as smooth as it could have gone but to me it was scary because I guess I'm more on the paranoid side but it was kind of scary but my favorite part about night two was definitely my outfit it was definitely my favorite outfit from the whole weekend it was something super simple and you already saw this in this try on haul I changed it up a little bit because I didn't end up wearing the pasties under it but I did wear this cute like mesh um bodycon dress super sexy it's a neon green mesh see-through bodycon dress i honestly got it at touch of romance i think it was like 24 bucks and i just wore it with a black tube top underneath um the tube top is actually from h&m it was like the tube top's like two dollars and 99 cents and i just like cinched it together in the front so it would look more you know not just so like straight across like a black bar i cinched it together in the front 
<coughs> so that my boobs look a little bit cuter. And then I just wore the same bikini bottoms that I tried the dress on with in earlier in this video. So my butt looked really good. Lots of cake. <laughs> I don't know. Super simple. I really like this outfit even though it was super easy. Nothing too crazy. I really liked it because it was just super sexy. And I wish I could wear this dress other places. But I don't really know where I could wear this dress again. But um, it was perfect for EDC. And I just paired it with a cute little pair of glasses and then my white vans which worked out really nicely so I think this was definitely my favorite outfit of the weekend and then night three I recycled an outfit from two years ago um, this bodysuit here I also tried this one on earlier in the video this is by peep show clothing this is so old honestly she made this for me like five six years ago a long ass time ago but it's still one of my favorite pieces ever because the way it fits my body is just amazing. I ended up pairing it with um, Thigh High Steve Madden. They're like suede thigh high sexy boots. I don't know. They're like skin tight. They're just hot. And so I paired the little bodysuit with some thigh high heeled boots and I had this cute little rhinestone um, bralette on and then I also wore just some black star pasties underneath that. The shitty thing is, is... <laughs> As soon as I got to Marquis Sky Deck, um, I got to our table and I like bent over the table to give my friend a hug and as soon as I bent over to give him a hug, my bralette just broke and I was like, oh my god Patrice, can you fix this? And he, he tried really hard to fix it, but I just ended up taking it off because it was broken. It broke. Oh, and the rhinestone bralette, so sexy, so pretty. It's from Forever 21. I think it was like 50 bucks and it's gorgeous, but it was a total loss. It just totally broke and it was like... Not, it was at a point of no return so I just took it off since I had those pasties on I just took it off and I gave it to Patrice and I don't know what he did with it but um, it's a goner so that kind of sucked because I really did like that little bralette but I have big boobs so I was worried that that would happen and it did thank god I wore pasties underneath because those saved the day but anyways that is what I wore on night three and honestly it was cold this year it was like in the mid 50s I would say and it was windy so I honestly wore a jacket most of the weekend over these outfits so you couldn't really see anything when I had my jacket on I just wore my big leopard print jacket so I mean it looked cute but I was kind of bummed that it was so cold this year because last year the weather was like perfect it was so good but anyways those are the outfits that I ended up wearing nothing too crazy they were still sexy and fun I think my favorite part of this EDC trip was honestly just the outfits I don't know I didn't have that much fun this year but that's okay it is what it is but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this failed EDC festival try on haul anyways thank you guys so much for watching uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Also, don't forget to say what's up to me in the comment section because I love hearing from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye!